Funky mix. Start sequence. Let's go. This is the Snaptain A15 foldable FPV drone. I mean, look how big this thing is. It's about the size of my hand folded down. It's pretty sweet. It's kind of got the same foldable, collapsible blades that the, the DJI uh, Mavic has, which is also pretty sweet. They do give you this little bag to put it all in, to carry it around with, which is pretty nice. You do have the instructions for it, the manual. It's all in English up front here. Also gives you the, the app you can download. Gives you the barcodes if you want to scan those in. They give you extra blades, props. It does come with two batteries. That's the second one. They give you the prop guards if you want them. I don't like to use them. These like to catch on tree branches when I'm outside. If I'm flying inside, I might put these on, but not outside. It gives you the preparatory uh, battery charger. This plugs right into the end of the battery. It's a little hard to find. There's a little circle there. It just plugs right in there. Plug it into the wall. You got the drone. You got the controller. Everything's labeled, which is really nice. This, like most drones nowadays, has flips, headless mode, one key takeoff and return and landing. Um, it's got your on and off button. It's got your tuning. So if this isn't floating and staying where it should be, you tune it so it until it floats right. It's got three different speeds for high, low, and medium. Like I said, it does flips. They give you this little happy unhappy card. Make sure you contact them if there's any problems. They'll try to fix it the best they can. Like I said, I really like this, the way it folds. So you just fold these arms out. That is the on and off button on top I just hit. So you can see how big this is now. Now it's like size two of my hands. So it does get a lot bigger. There is no legs per se, except for what's built on does have a little camera here that is adjustable up and down a little bit. You probably want this down a little bit, but not too much, because if this floats like this, you're going to be pointing at the ground. Just depends on what speed you have. Here's your battery. Just snaps in here. Like I said, there's that little hole for the charger. So you just snap this in here. Turn this on. Push this for a couple seconds. It starts flashing. Turn your controller on. You can push up, down. These stop flashing. Now you know they're bound together. I kind of like the those look like uh, like eyes on a bug or something. Pretty cool. One in the back. So now you're ready to fly. You can hit the one button takeoff. If you have the app running, which I'll have to get and put on here, you could just tell it to take off. It says it's got voice control, so that's something we're going to have to try and test. So I'm going to go get that, my phone and hook up the app. Okay, once you get the app downloaded, it is the Snaptain Air app. And you do have this phone holder that just pulls up here. Now this is a little small and skinny. This isn't going to really fit my case. If I take the phone out of the case, it would fit probably fine. But I'm not going to do that for this. So basically you're going to start to turn on the drone. You turn on the, the controller. Bind them together. Go into your settings on your phone or your tablet, whatever you're using. Go into Wi-Fi. Find the drone Wi-Fi. Which just came up the Snaptain. So you connect to that. Tells me there's no Wi Fi. No big deal. I understand that. And then once you're done there, you open the app. Now you have these different options. You can do a tutorial if you want. 
shows you how to do the functions and all that stuff. Basically tells you it's connect connected. Um, so there's what the drone's saying. You see that's a pretty good picture. And you can turn, you can operate everything through here, or you can operate everything from here. It's up to you. You can do one or the other, or both. You just want to take pictures and video with the app. It will store it on your phone. There's no SD card or any slot or anything for that here. So basically, you just hit the video, starts recording on there. You can stop it. You can hit the gyros to calibrate it. You can turn the controls on and off. You can do your flips and everything else you can do on here. You can take pictures. You see it said photo successful. You can take off with this. You can draw a flight plan, which is kind of new for drones. If you draw a flight plan on here, like, like you know, after hitting this button up here, and draw like a, like that, it'll fly that without you controlling it. Which is pretty sweet. So we're going to try all this out and see how it goes.